Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Coming up on this October Sunday, we have another installment of our Lost and Found series. When we show rare gems, which for various reasons have been locked away in film vaults or stored in attics and forgotten for decades, or even worse, if they were thought of, seem to be lost probably forever. Well, our next batch of films fall into that latter category. There are important movies from the era of silent films, which were believed to have been lost for all time. And we start with the movie starring a man who, in his time, was the most famous magician in the world and still owns that title today. And that's a great Harry Houdini. You didn't know Houdini made movies? Well, he did. His great fame, though, of course, had come from his appearances in vaudeville and various stage productions doing amazing escape routines and amazing magic tricks. He became such a big star, though, that Hollywood came calling and made him a film star in the early days of silent movies. However, he didn't stay a film star for long. Houdini only made five films during his career, and the one we have coming up is the one actually always considered his best. It was made in 1919, and the title is The Grim Game, with Houdini playing a newspaper reporter accused of murder, who has to make a series of spectacular escapes to keep from being nabbed by the authorities. He frees himself in order to track down the real killer. Now, for decades, historians thought this film was gone, permanently. But a pair of Houdini historians, Dorothy Dietrich and Dick Brooks, who own the Houdini Museum in Scranton, Pennsylvania, were aware that another Houdini expert named Larry Weeks had acquired a print of the Grim Game from Houdini's widow. Well, Mr. Weeks took meticulous care of that rare print for years screening it only a handful of times. It was in 2014 that Dietrich and Brooks thought it was high time for Larry Weeks to share his treasure so more people could see it. They introduced him to film preservationist Rick Schmidlin, who in turn contacted us and asked if we could financially help with the film's restoration. After some negotiations, TCM bought the rights from Mr. Weeks, the film was restored, and the music score by Brain Zikovic was added, which allows us to now, a little drum roll later, to bring you the world television premiere of a film from 1919 starring Harry Houdini. Here it is, The Grim Game. <laughs> 